text behind the moving objects in Premiere Pro is one of the best video editing tutorials. Today we are gonna learn how to make it better than best. We basically use three layers to make this floating water text behind the objects. The first layer is the background or the main video. The second layer is the text floating on water using turbulent displace effect. And on the third layer we draw a marks around the ship to hide the text. Inside Premiere Pro, we have got this footage on the timeline, which is around 25 seconds long. To make this text animation, first of all, we have to take the type tool to enable typing mode and type something like cargo ship or titanic. After typing, double click on it in order to select all of the text. Then navigate to the window and scroll down to enable essential graphics. Here we have to click on edit and ensure the title is selected. Right now, I wanna change the font. You can scroll down to find the font or type which font you wanna use in this search box. In my case, I prefer to choose Franklin Heavy. For the font size, you can push this slider or type here 400 to make the font size large. And now we have to align the text. An easy way to align the text is by clicking on the vertical and horizontal center. Finally, close the graphics panel. Ok now get back to the selection tool and extend the duration of the text layer following the background video. We will make a couple of changes in the effect controls. First under opacity we change the blend mode. If you click here you see a lot of blend modes. For this tutorial we select the soft light and you may notice something has changed suddenly in the text. Next move the time indicator to the very beginning frame and set a keyframe of the position. Now increase the y value of the position to move the text down. To complete this text animation, let's drag the time indicator to the last frame and decrease the y value of the position to move the text up. To make the text turbulent, let's go to the effects and find out the turbulent displace. Now apply these effects to the text layer. Make sure the text layer is highlighted. Displacement, we have a few options here. From them, we can select the twist smoother. Amount, let's make its value 10 to make the displacement lower. Now click on the stopwatch of the offset to create a keyframe. To change the time indicator position, click on the right arrow icon of the position. Let's create another keyframe by clicking on this little icon and change its Y value to 2000. This way we actually make the floating text animation. Now it is time to hide the text behind the ship. This thing is so easy but a little bit time consuming. To do it, first hold down the alter key and drag the video to the third layer to make it a duplicate. Now select the duplicate video. We actually draw a mask here where the text is. To make the masking easy, we can change the opacity of this layer to visible the text. Next, drag the time indicator exactly here in this position just before the ship crosses the text. Now select the pen tool under opacity and draw marks around the beginning part of the ship. After the set a keyframe of the marks path. To enable the marks, we have to select the mask on. Now we can move the time indicator to the right a few frames and change the masking points when needed. I already said it is a little bit time consuming task. When we bring any changes to our masks, then Premiere will automatically add a keyframe. Let's double click on the name in the program monitor to make it maximize. Now from here we can change the zoom level to 100% to make the masking easy. And now we have to complete the rest of the masking. Our masking is done. So now double click here in the program monitor to go back to the regular editing panel and change the zoom level to fit. Let's move the time indicator to check out everything carefully. Then go to the effect controls and set back to the opacity to 100%. You can see here is an issue. To fix this issue, we can drag the time indicator to the first keyframe of the mask path. And now remove the extra beginning part of the video. As Premiere Pro is showing the red line, that means we have to pre-render this video for a smooth playback. This is our 2 days animated floating text behind the objects. I hope this Premiere Pro tutorial helps you to make a better intro title for your cinematic video. That's all for today, I'll be back in the next video.